I've always loved drawing sharks, and hammerheads are one of the strangest looking. I was originally planning to have it be a great white shark, but that seemed too easy and predictable. Misunderstand, I love great whites and all that, but hammerheads have such a unique presence to them, especially the great hammerhead, which actually get as large as great whites. Funny enough, I actually had to redraw the shark a few times before I finally managed to fit the head properly into the composition. Again, the Copic markers did not disappoint in their ability to blend and fade into each other. I was really happy with how the blues and grays turned out in this one. The remora, the fish swimming next to the shark, were a challenge to color because of their iridescent look. But when it comes to coloring in subtle hues like that, I can't over-recommend these markers. I'll make sure to include the color numbers in the comments below. really close to having the shark chomping on a fish or something to add a bit more intensity to the drawing, but thought better of it. I was also thinking of giving it stripes like a tiger shark, but decided against that as well. I think the hammerhead looks intense and deadly enough without all of that. Just like when I drew the mantis, I made sure to watch animal footage during the making of the hammerhead drawing. I love watching Blue Planet and classic Shark Week episodes from the Discovery Channel have to know how an animal moves and exists in its environment if you want to capture its essence and work by it. You have to put yourself in the shoes of whatever subject you're depicting, or else you won't be committed enough to get the anatomy and proportions right, let alone the color and perspective, which can be harder choices to find through. I did have to make some artistic decisions and take some creative liberties in making the hammerhead look more epic in its own way. For instance, hammerheads aren't really bright blue. They tend to be more of a dark gray or even brown or green. But I wanted to reinforce that this is a creature of the ocean and should embody that. Its jaws and teeth are also more reminiscent of that of a great white shark, because I thought they looked more intense. Hammerhead teeth are more like thin daggers, while white shark teeth are large and triangular, giving a more distinct and even a ferocious look to the shark's jaws. Aside from those details, the body of this hammerhead is modeled closely after the real thing. I really enjoyed making this drawing, and I'm excited to continue this series. I think you all will enjoy what's coming next. I appreciate you watching this and taking time to learn about my creative process. Stay tuned for an update on the next creature in this drawing series.